Hello, hello, grade 7 students. Mama Rona and Cruz is back for our lesson 2, which is all about the properties of elements and compounds. So before we proceed with our discussion, we will have first the... So go back po kayo sa ating module sa page 9. So we will begin with what I know. So again, ito po ay... Pretest, just checking for your prior knowledge before we discuss our lesson. So, please prepare your papers. Um, write down your name, your grade and section, the module number, the lesson number, and the day to day. And most especially the subject, important po yun. So, write down the what I know and the number from 1 to 15. So, for numbers 1 to 11, you're going to choose from the letters given A, B, C, or D. And then for numbers 12 to 15, you will just write down if the given illustration describes an element or compound. So you will write the word element or compound. Okay, so that is for our first activity, which is what I know, 1 to 15. Okay, so let's proceed now with the what's in. Okay, so let's read the first paragraph. Hello, my dear friend. How is your first lesson? I hope that everything is fine after answering all your activity. You are already done in describing the characteristics of an element and compound. I know you feel a little bit hard in identifying the elements in each compound, but you did it. Congratulations, my dear grade 7. Anyway, elements are composed of one atom, while compounds are composed of two or more elements. Elements have unique properties and characteristics from the others. So now, ito yung ating first um, drill para sa ating main topic for today. So again, meron tayong tula or poem. Masahin muna natin yung second paragraph. So we have a visitor from our central laboratory. He is Professor Puree, an expert in distinguishing properties of all the elements and compounds around us, surrounding us, rather. He knows how to deal with it. He would like to ask help from you regarding the situation of our laboratory. Everything inside in our school laboratory is in chaos. So for you to extend some hand to him, you must read the poem below and use it as your guide in organizing things. I know that you are excited. Let us get started. Okay. So class, I will not anymore read the poem aloud but you can read it on your own so read every part of the poem until on this next page so that you can be able to answer the guide questions so you're going to write down the answers on your one whole sheet of Paper. So this is our second activity. So the answers on these questions are found on the point. So makikita po sa tula yung sagot dito sa tanong sa guide questions. So write down first the words what's in and then your answers. Okay, let's proceed. Let's proceed to the what's new. So ito same lang nung activity natin sa lesson 1. So, in the previous activity, you identify the properties of a compound and element. So, identify some elements and compounds mentioned in the poem using the given set of properties. Write your answer in a separate sheet of paper. So, draw again to, uh, draw again a table with two columns. On the first column, write down elements and on the second column, write compounds. So, you will just enumerate all of the elements and the compounds mentioned in the poem. So, babalikan yung tula. Balikan yung tula, then enumerate po isa-isa kung ano yung mga elements at compounds na nabanggit sa tula. So, that is for the what's new. Third activity. Moving on. So, fourth activity tayo. What is it? So, short discussion muna tayo bago tayo mag-proceed doon sa activity na what is it. So, Elements and compounds have different sets of properties. Meron silang kanya-kanyang katangian. So elements are somehow like people who prefer to be alone. 
they are composed of only one atom with same set of properties. So, pag elements, they are only alone. Or pwedeng may kasama sila, pero kapareho lang ng kanilang property or katangihan. While compounds are somewhat celebrities who prefer to be with their fans. So, they are made up of elements that are combined chemically and they are composed of two or more elements. So, pag compounds, kombinasyon siya ng dalawa o higit pang elements. No? At na, 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 nagkocombine sila sa ibang um, elements chemically. So, elements and compounds are distinguished in different set of properties such as on the figures below. Halimbawa dito, as you can see, this shows an element. So, we are, pwedeng they are composed of a single atom or pwede namang uh, more than two atoms but of the same kind. Kaya kung makikita natin, pareho silang white. So, element to. Well, for this illustration, it shows circle circles of white and black. So, they are overlapping each other, showing that they combine chemically. So, that's why there are two colors. It shows that there are two or more elements which are combined, or, or which are combining together. So, this shows a compound. Okay. So, now let's proceed now with the activity. Which is which? So, this is our fourth Activity. Mga ba? Mga apat na ba yun? So, one yung what I know, two yung what's in, third yung what's new, and then fourth ang what's it. What is it? Okay, tama. So, here, so just number from one to five. So, you will just identify if the given illustration is an element or compound. Ganun lang po yung susulat. Element or compound. Okay. Now, let's proceed with... What's more? So, this is our fifth activity. So, what you will do here is you will copy the table with these three columns. And you're going to complete the table by writing the phrases that correctly describes an element and compound. So, pipili kayo dito. Ika-classify nyo lang siya kung saan siya kabilang na grupo. Based on its composition, matter of separation, and types. And then, kung element ba yun or compound. So, dito pa rin kayo mamimili sa ating uh, pool of phrases. So, that's what's more. Pang five, pang fifth na activity. Okay, pang anim na activity, pang sixth. So, what I have learned. So, we have here a paragraph. So, you're going to supply the correct words on the blanks. So, you're going to choose from the words inside the box. So, we're going to number from 1 to 14 for the what I have learned. So, basahin na lang po ng mabuti at mamili dito sa ating mga words na nasa loob ng kahon. Okay. And then, we have the what I can do. So, ito almost the same lang nung ginawa natin sa first lesson. So, you're going to look again for another food product label. Then, pakidikit po sa papel. And then... You will just group all the substances according to the to their set of properties of an element and compound. So, write down yun lang uli. Ano-ano ba yung mga elements base dun sa food product label at ano-ano yung compounds. Okay. Let's proceed with the eighth as, uh, activity, assessment. So, here in our assessment, so ito po yung ating post-test. So, meron po ulit tayong 15 questions dito. No? So, we have 1 to 15 questions. So, for numbers 1 to 10, we're going to write down the letter of the correct answer based on the statements or the questions. So, A, B, C, or D. Then, for 11 to 15, so, medyo may correction tayo dito, 11 to 15 ito. So, babasahin niyo muna itong problem dito. So, dyan po iikot yung mga questions natin from 11 to 15. But still, we're going to choose from the letters given, A, B, C, or D. So, pang 8 na activity, the title is Assessment Number 1 to 15. Okay. So, we're now down to the last activity, which is the additional activities. So, pang 9 na po natin siya activity. So, here, as you can see, 
Pinabati na kayo. Great job, my friend. You successfully answered all the activities prepared for you and it is such an honor to be with you the whole duration of your journey. So this time you will be engaged in another activity. No, what you will do here is um, meron tayong word search. Given po dito is yung 1 to 10 na statement. So hanapin niyo po dito sa word search kung ano yung tinutukoy na, na words. So, for our ninth activity, write down the word additional, additional activities and the number from 1 to 10. So, that is the last activity for our lesson number 2. Okay. Now, if you have again um, questions or queries about our topic for today, which is about properties of elements and compounds, you can just uh, give me a message on Facebook or on our group chat in Messenger. Okay, that's all for today. Good luck and God bless. Goodbye class.